touch interactions already common on mobile devices are becoming possible on other devices such as the Microsoft Surface Pro, tablets running Windows 8 and later, and the Apple trackpad. Adobe apps support the increasingly familiar interactions involving touch and gestures. To make even better use of these features, the workspaces have been optimized. The tabs in the workspace bar quickly switch between predefined workspaces in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. In Premiere Pro, some of the most commonly used editing functions can be achieved through simple finger motions on any Windows tablet or with an Apple trackpad. Move clips around on the timeline by dragging them with one finger into position. You can pinch to zoom in and out both the video as well as the timeline. In the bins, you can use two finger pinching to resize thumbnails and two finger dragging on the clip will scrub the video in the media browser thumbnails. The most classy feature is setting in and out points using the overlay on the thumbnails in a bin. And then dragging and dropping the clip with one finger into one of the drop zones in the program monitor. This is ideal for making first rough versions or selections when you're on the road and you don't have easy access to traditional input devices like a mouse or a full-size keyboard. To improve your ability to work on smaller screens or when using touch input, you can take advantage of the new stacked panels feature in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Tapping on a panel tab will expand that panel and by default will solo that tab by simultaneously minimizing the other panels in the group, keeping your workspace clean and uncluttered. When using a multi-touch capable input device, such as a touchscreen display or multi-touch trackpad, you can use the familiar two-finger pinch and swipe gestures to zoom and pan in the composition, layer, footage and timeline panels, allowing quick and direct manipulation. Character Animator also accepts multi-touch capable devices as input source. For example, you can simultaneously capture facial expressions and voice acting while touch movements drive the arms of a puppet. These multi-touch gestural features in Premiere Pro and After Effects acknowledge the way that many editors like to work. As multi-touch becomes even more embedded in the Adobe Video applications, you decide to choose the input device that fits the job best.